Weather Service has issued a severe another sunny day in Florida with highs around with temperatures expected to plummet well below zero. It's going to be warm, so make sure to Welcome to a tale of two teams facing off in two opposite worlds where the heat of the sun in Florida meets the icy embrace of winter in Maine. Join us as we embark on a journey that unfolds the remarkable contrast between the southernmost state on the east coast and the northernmost gem that graces our eastern shores. Florida, the southernmost haven, boasts the enchanting beauty of the Everglades and the white sandy beaches of Miami, where nature's glory coexists with the energy of urban life. Meanwhile, in the frosty north, Maine's wilderness echoes with the silent majesty of snow-covered landscapes and the mystery of what's hiding in the frozen waters below. Each climate brings its unique set of challenges and rewards, testing the skills and resilience of our competing animals. It's a battle of climates, where every species and inch of fish counts. Stay tuned to see who will reel in the victory. I'm not really sure what just happened. I just came from nine degrees to 81. Quite the e ecological shift. Now I just need some fish poles and some water and uh, some lojo. Let's get this party started, y'all. Welcome to Big Hop. Severe weather is affecting airports across the country as, as of 7 p.m. this, Eastern, uh, this evening. More than 7,000 flights were delayed. 2,700 have been canceled altogether. So the uh, current time is 2.34 p.m. here in Washington, D.C. Our flight was supposed to take off at 10 a.m. We are majorly laid over. Not only are we going to have snow on our final destination, that being Maine, where the challenge is going to be taking place, we have snow here in D.C. and, get this, right before we're about to leave, from Texas in, D in DFW, it started to snow as well. Wherever we're at, it seems like it, it's just snowing. It's coming down like crazy, and it's affecting travel. I'm a little stressed out because we're losing fishing time. The days are much shorter up north, so while we are sitting and waiting to board our plane to go fish and get this challenge kicked off, the boys, that being Lojo and Rack, they're probably already wet in the line. I don't know how we got the short end of the stick of this challenge, but I'd much rather be in the heat right now, casting the longer log, bandita bug. I love ice fishing. Here we go, folks. One of the greatest adventures of our lives, three days. Competition, north versus south. We got four Googans. Who's gonna win this competition? It's it's three days long, as many species as you can catch, taking the total length out of each species. That's right. And we have a budget. We do. Do you know what our budget is? I think it's a thousand dollars for three entire days. Which ooh, that's is actually ooh, it's, it's we're cracking down in corporate. Yeah, uh, yeah, I let's think so. See. I don't know. Let's get inside this van though first. I've got to check this camper van out. Oh yeah. You gotta do a little call through. Let's see what Come we got on in. in. Woo! Kitchen area, dude. We're dude, set. Whoa! <laughs> this is sick, dude. It's got a kitchenette in here. Look, it's got a flat top grill. We got some Guggen fish fry. I've never seen this before in my life. I I've seen these sample <laughs> recipes, but this is final packaging. Getting your golden crispy on right this there. This is awesome. So you got the master well. suite right here. Oh, is this the master? Dude, that's soft. You got a walk-in shower right here. Dude, You're almost I, too big for that shower. I was about to say, but if I can stand up in it, then it's decent yeah. size at least. And there's a little porthole up there too, so. Lojo yeah. approved. You know, here we go. We're just a oh. school bus pick, picking up our special passengers. Oh. Dude, oh, I'm fish. driving the bus right now. Dude, I wish this thing had like one of those big horns, like the trucker horns, you know? Oh, normal horn. This yeah. is sick, guys. We've actually never been on an adventure quite like this. We've done a couple of road trips, um, you know, done a little bit of truck camping and things like that, but this is going to be a first for this channel. Go ahead and smash that like button uh, for camping out of this thing. I mean, we're basically just on the road, pure yeah. fishing, pure fishing for three days out of this. We're going to be living out of the, the camper van for the next three days, and inches is the name of the game, my friend, so mm -hmm. me and you need to get all of our stuff loaded up, figure out where we are, like as far as where we need to go. Get the bearings. And get uh, get the bearings. Yeah, I like what you said. Get, do a uh, inventory check, mm -hmm. get a game plan, because we got a lot of species to tackle. We're gonna have to uh, do some different tactics. So let's get this party started. Let's go. 
We're on the road. We're heading to Walmart first. That's stop number one, as always, because we're gonna have to get a few things we're gonna need, like drinking water, cooking supplies, any fishing gear that maybe Rackley didn't bring. After that, we're gonna make our first move. Hopefully we can get some fish in our hands here soon. We'll go ahead and establish that early lead. A little bit later on after that, we're gonna be heading to that campsite to get set up, our little base camp for the night. And at that point, the possibilities are endless. All so right. It's like this. So, uh, we got a thousand dollars. Yep. Well, I just want to blow our wad, most of it right here. Especially if we're going to be like kind of remotely, just literally operating out of the van the entire time. We're going to have to get quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Game changer. We get a redfish. Maybe we get a shark You can catch something. literally anything on a shrimp. Everything needs a shrimp. A bass would probably get a shrimp. You just reminded me of something else too. Plus, if this thing comes down to the wire, we can always just grab one of these and act like we caught it, stretch it out, and get like three inches out of that bad boy. You went for the colossal. Well, of course. I mean, I, we need those inches. You know what I mean? Some Johnsonville, some brats. You know, something to kind of come in from a day of dangling, throw them in a pot, get them boiling. It's not bad. It's not a bad way to start the evening. Look. Hydration is a key part of any challenge. Hit it with that seven inch fillet right there. What got else it. we got here? Oh, okay, Magnum go ahead. pliers in case we get into the old long tooth shark McGee. It's a 40 inch. And no matter what we catch, it's gonna be at least 10 inches long because that's the first number on it. That's so, a I mean, default? I mean, that's, that's a, just the default. That's Sorry, just the way to do the... anything about that. That's the rule, that's the rule. Sorry, everybody knows the rules. That's, that's a little tough piece. So we went a little over on what we thought we were going to spend at Walmart. That's okay. We still have over half of our budget left. And like we said a minute ago, we're going to catch so many fish in this challenge. We're going to have suppers covered for a month. Grocery shopping complete, uh, almost half the budget gone. Now it's time to get the heck out of the city, head to the country. I'd like to thank you for flying with us. And again, we do apologize for the delay. How is the big airport? We made it to Bangor. It is 5.30 p.m., completely dark. I don't know what the plan is. I think first things first, let's get out of this airport. I don't want to see an airport for another two days. <laughs> it is chilly. This is it. The U.S. Guggen Challenge begins. Cold versus warm. The goal is this. We've got a thousand dollar budget to not blow. So we went a little over on what we thought we were gonna spend at Walmart. We have a camper that we're gonna rent and we're gonna use that camper as our home base and travel up the coast and into the woods in hopes to catch a multitude of different species. It's gonna be a game of inches. So for every species we catch, we have to catch the biggest of that species. Obviously, we've got different species that we'll be catching the boys down south, but some remain true that including largemouth bass. There are largemouth up here in Maine. and. They're also going to be catching large months as well. They grow a little bit bigger down south, but there are big fish here in Maine. Let's go uh, find my car and uh, figure out what the hell we're going to do. Oh, oh it's like ice. I will take hot over cold any day of the week. Oh, dude, this is a great little spot right here. Look little, at this little uh, three-way intersection, canal intersection. I like that a lot. We got to do it, folks. We only got like an hour and a half, two hours of light left. So this looks like as good of a spot as any to start this little fishing expedition. I like it. Thank goodness we are finally fishing. It feels so good to wet a line right now. There's so much fishable water here. And the best part is, we're not freezing cold right now. Here's the thing, we got boned, we got shafted, we have the short end of the stick. They sent us up north, 
where the days are shorter and the temps are lower and we have a huge delay in our flight. So we're going to use this first moment of the trip to wine and dine ourselves. I like it. I'd also like to mention too, we've got a little bit of home turf advantage. I have a cabin up here, so we already have the rods. We got the gear. I have a, I had a car waiting for us at the airport. <laughs> so let's have a nice glass of Pinot Grigio. Oh my God, some wine? Maybe oh. some chicken Alfredo, some clam chowder. We're going to give Rob the full main. Moose. Rob's going to eat some moose. That's what I'm talking moose! About. Moose meat, oh. let's go. I'll see you guys in there. <laughs> what did you say? We also could have fallen victim to the oldest Florida trick in the book, and that is all the water looks good, right? Like every bit of water looks like fish paradise, but because of all of the water looking like that, it's hard to actually pinpoint where the fish are. Okay, well, spot number one was a bus, but that's okay, because when you're dealing with a 100 mile long canal, you just pick up, you move a couple hundred yards, and you're in a completely new fishery, right? Basically. Well, there's a little, uh, looks like an outflow or an inflow, I'm not really sure. It might be some current of some kind. Let's go try that and then I say we rip from there. Yeah. Good idea. We heard a rumor that there's tarpon and snook in here, but. So you're uh, you're tight right now, buddy. You're. I think I'm stuck on the bottom right here. You've got a little bit of rod bend going on. Are you snagged? Dude, no, it's moving. Oh, dude, it's pulling. It's pulling. Oh, dude, it's pulling. It's pulling. <laughs> what do you have? So, so spending half the budget on food. <laughs> on food, day number one. After the f flight pattern that we had and all the delays, I don't even care at this point. It's dark, we can't even fish. Let's feast and get refueled for tomorrow. This is damn good. Is it? Yeah, mine. I just had a bite of potatoes and that was. Busted. It's an alligator. Oh no! <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Oh, there's his mouth. There's his oh, mouth. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, he's oh, huge! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look He's right there. Up. My bait just popped up. Line look at! I think he just came in here. Oh. Wow! You got your hook hook back? It didn't even bend. Wow. Gold Series taco, baby. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Holy moly, we've been in Florida for like two hours. We've already seen incredibly dangerous wildlife <laughs> and somehow haven't caught a fish. <laughs> my heart is racing right now after seeing that thing. I'm gonna be watching my toes the Dude, rest seriously. of this trip. I mean, he was right there underneath us. He was waiting, he was waiting for me to just fall in, get me. Screw this, man, let's get out of here. Look, it wasn't technically successful, but I like the fact that we're already within the wild. Here we go. The damage. Our first stop, our first literal hour here in Maine on the U.S. Challenge, cold versus hot. Guess how much money we spent. What do you think? 150. 150? You're damn close. $140. Two cocktails, a beer, two main courses, and an appetizer. Honestly, not that bad for a pretty upscale place here in Central Maine. See, the thing is, is for the guys down south, the budget's probably gonna be for like, you know, gas and rods and reels because they don't have anything. They're, they're fishing in a state where they don't have all this equipment. Whereas up here, we're all set and ready to go. The only thing we have to worry about is filling up our bellies and uh, just kicking back and enjoying ourselves. So I think every day we're gonna make it a goal to eat at a new interesting restaurant. Maine, we're ready for you. Uh, well, we made it. Yeah, we're about five miles from where we just were and this is a little camping reservation spot. And uh, not sure if they have any space, but there's just a lot of places on this river to camp. 
This just looked like a, de a decent spot. Really, two people left their campsites early today and it was already paid for for another night. So he's just gonna give us one of the campsites for a night. So we don't have to use any more of our budget. We've got the pond here. We gotta make sure paid that pond it. is legit. Oh, here he is. Excuse me, sir, is, are we allowed to fish that pond? Yes. Okay, so there's fish in there and if everything? You got, if you have your proper licensing. Yes. yes, sir, we sure do. We're touching base. Hey, partner! Well, uh, uh, that's fair. I have some good news for you guys because we got about an hour. We had the same kind of delays and whatnot today. Yeah. Uh, and then we went to the city of Miami where, uh, no, no, you would think it'd be hot and heavy fast. Everything was slow. 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 Two, slow moving. Two hours, two hours to get supplies. So you, you guys don't have any fish for today. Hey, don't judge us, okay? We've been spending quite a bit of time fighting Miami traffic, the locals, yeah. Walmart, and then the Loch Ness Monster that we couldn't land. So to be fair, we've been struggling as well. Oh, but we did spend, uh, with, the, with, the, with the inflation cost, we did, we did have a heavy, it was like $450 bill. At, at Walmart. At Walmart. <laughs> at Walmart? $400, dude. You guys are halfway through the budget. You guys have already blown the budget, have no fish. I guess we're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're waiting. Uh, all right, we got to get off here. We're going to go pick up our camper. All right, gentlemen. We got to turn the AC on. It's, it's it is blazing 100. hot here. Yeah. Well, we just met Keelan to go pick up our camper, our home for this challenge. So the element of the challenge is kind of a twist that we put on this series of the past US challenge series we've been staying at hotels, but we figured what a better way to travel and also fish and stay close to the water than to uh, get one of these. What's the name of your business again, Keelan? Maine Campa. Maine, Maine Campa, which is the traditional way. If you're a Northeasterner, you gotta, you gotta lose the ER and put an AH. So Maine Campa, if you guys uh, are up here and wanna rent a camper for fishing or camping purposes, this is the guy to go through. So we'll leave his business link down below. He was nice enough to hook us up and be accommodating throughout all of our delays. I and mean, we were supposed to get here at like 12 p.m. and do this walkthrough, but now we're in the dark and cold. But this thing's nice. It's a Winnebago. It's a Ram 2500? Is that what it is? 35. 35, yeah. This is really nice. Well, we've made it. This is Camp Claw. We're gonna stay here tonight and then get everything packed up. The, like I said, I've said this earlier, the good, night, the good thing about today is we don't have to do any shopping. We're good to go. We've got all the gear. We've got the van, we've got Rob, we've got me. The only thing we need to do now is get some sleep and wake up bright breeze in the morning. I'm just wondering when the snow is supposed to start Dude, coming. It's, that it's, will it's, tell you, don't nothing. even look at that. Oh, okay. It's probably gonna come tomorrow morning first. It says, so. it says noon, so. Yeah. That's one thing we have to worry about is the Winnebago that we did rent is a two-wheel drive 3500 Front. Front. Wheel to drive. Couldn't have picked a, a worse vehicle to drive during a snowstorm. And guess what? Tomorrow, we have a snowstorm. Snow, sleet, ice still left with Heather as it moves through the northeast. The storm is clearing south to north, but today is going to be a tough travel day in the northeast. We have all snow further inland, and along the coast, it is that mix. And ice is going to be a big concern. First night, first night survived. Good morning from the winter wonderland. This is our official day number one. We're not stuck in airports. We're not fine dining and having whiskey. No, we're, no, we're fine dining. We are fine dining later. <laughs> but right now, we're going to be doing some fishing. And then hopefully after that, we're going to get a flaming young and Something Whiskey. to celebrate. Whiskey! With. I need to warm myself up, buddy. Rob, what's the temperature right now? <laughs> uh, I think it's 12 degrees. Is what it's 12 degrees. I think it was. Yeah, Celsius or Fahrenheit? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, this is it. We are about to embark on our first fishing expedition. We've got literally everything back packed up at the moment. It's kind of nice that uh, we do have this cabin up here and all the tools that that we need to ice fish. Because if we got sent to like some state that 
we needed to start from scratch, that is like buy an auger and a sled and rods, we would be well over our budget by now, but we are locked and ready to go. The goal is this, to catch as many big fish species as we possibly can. It's a multi-species challenge, and get this, if we catch a fish today and it is a legal size, we're gonna bring it back to the camper and cook it with the new Guggen Fish Fry Guggen Eats. So we have the opportunity to get some extra points today while also fishing. Rob, I think is gonna be our chef. I'm gonna do the best of my ability to actually catch fish. Also too, I wanna preface, we have a snowstorm coming in. Yeah, it's gonna snow like five to six inches today. It's now 10 degrees, I was wrong. Uh. It's 77 where the guys are at right now. It's 10 here and 77 there. So it's 67 degrees warmer. Yeah. Down on the very southernmost tip of the East Coast. Okay, well, let's get on with our day. If you guys wanna check out some of the Guggen Eats, it'll be linked down below. This stuff is beautiful, wonderful, and hopefully we're gonna wrap up some nice fillets in this golden crispiness. Let's get out of here. Dude, look how much snow we just got stuck in. God. We got stuck in like... Five inches of snow. say we, we've gone 30 yards kind of weird that this thing wouldn't be four-wheel drive up here huh Weird that this thing wouldn't be four wheel drive up here, huh? A little wet out here. And today is a new day. It is time to catch a bass. I'm gonna knock that bass off the list here. Man, this water's clear. It's beautiful. I'm gonna start out with a spinner bait, but I may end up. I'm gonna go with plastic. It's my gut feeling here. Uh, oh, there's one right there. First fish. First fish. First cast. Yeah. Inches right there, guys. Boom. Wake up. Still knocking the crust out of my eyeballs. We catch the first fish of the day. That's what I'm talking about. Here at the RV park, the pond. I bet there's a giant in here. This guy looks a little skinny, maybe stunted. They probably don't take as many out of here as they need to, but hey, nine inches right here. We got nine inches on the board, boys. Good morning. See ya. As they're enjoying 80 degree weather, absolutely just getting it, just having a good time in Florida. I volunteered to come to Maine and hang out in 11 degrees. Oh my God. And do this, I just needed practice. Stop it. We should be good now, right? I feel good about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. My hands are cold. We did. We're on the road heading to the next fishing spot. Rack Attack's back there firing up the old grill and he's gonna cook a little breakfast, but we're only like a few miles away from the next fishing location, so hopefully it'll time out perfectly. We can stop, eat a little bit, get some more fish on the board, and carry on our mission. Get off me. Currently have $860 left on our budget. We spent $140 at dinner last night. Got a fancy light, but now we're gonna grab some cheap breakfast here at this gas station. The next stop after that is some bait. We need some minnows to catch these fish lurking under the ice. $92 oh. knocked off right there. Like, what in the world? I got a I got a bottle of Woodford's, not a big one. A little bottle. I don't know, it just was really expensive. Like, this is this is like well, a $6 burrito. This is probably $20. This is, Jerry had to have this. Why'd you need this, Jerry? Jerry. I bet you this, how now much we is, can't get bait. He bought two of them. Did you buy two of them, Jerry? You know we're already at a huge disadvantage. Yeah, like, what the We are heck, struggling Jerry? at the moment. Jerry, you didn't need that. We got the Chuck's mix. Is Jerry? that Jerry, too? Jerry, I bet that's at least $8. Everything, everything right here is Jerry. Jerry, are you kidding me? You spent $30 of our budget on three things. What, what the hell, dude? We're broke. 
Well, we are officially entering the belly of the beast here, passing through the, uh, the doors that lead us to the good stuff, hopefully. No, those were fun. Well, we thought this place looked better than where we just were, but it turns out it's the same kind of nonsense. This is how deep it is. I mean, we're talking about 15, 20 feet right off of the edge, which is not really what we're looking for here. Love more shallow water, more grass. We're at the bait shop getting loaded up. We need bait for largemouth bass and pike. Those are the two main species that we're gonna be chasing after today. And if we have enough time, we'll try to catch some crappie. But first things first, let's get some, get some juicy bait. Three, four, six. We've got our bait. We spent $22 on small shiners, dace, and big pike bait. I think they're creek chubs. I think that's what we bought. But I just Rob care wants, about the big pike bait. Yeah, Rob wants to catch something big, so I had to get the big pike bait. Big pike, pike bait. Big, big, pike, big pike, pike bait. Big Say pike, that three pike. times fast. Big pike, big pike bait. Ugh, oh, just had many stroke. Anyway, let's get after it. We've got our bait. We've got our rods. Let's head to the lake. We got, we got an upgrade of bass. We're about an hour away from the beach, but we got to get some inches on the board here. This is the type of stuff that we're looking for right here. A lot shallower. In fact, we can see the bottom all in here. Oh, he's telling us we cannot fish here, I think. Dang it. Just got here. We're getting kicked out. Dang it. Maybe he's just telling us we can't fish on this dock. Let's also tell him that we're about to go spend a bunch of money in the casino and then see what he says. Oh, it says no swimming, no fishing. I really think we should think this one through. I for sure know you can get down there. I know. I don't believe you could probably get back up there. Go ahead and go down, we'll figure it out later. I, oh God, you're saying that out loud. I looked at it and said, man, we should probably bring her. Like I've gotten my butt kicked today already, and it's not even like, barely noon right now. I'm trying to adjust to the heat. It's seriously like I bet you it feels like 85 right now. So we're heading due east to haul over. Well, we're dealing with some tackle on the ground back here. This is one of the uh, drawbacks of driving your home around, but that's okay. We're heading on the road. We're heading due east to haul over inlet. So jetty there. There's an inlet. There's a beach. Hopefully some fish. Finally, we're fishing. A bit of a semi-sketchy run up here. This lake is known to hold a myriad of different species, which is the goal. We're not after like one specific fish. We're after anything and everything. And it's got just about anything Maine has to offer with the exception of lake trout and salmon. It's a really good spot. And I've caught fish here in the summertime and the winter, probably about 10 to nine inches of ice here, which is plenty for ice fishing. And we're gonna set up some tip ups for some pike in largemouth and hope that the snow doesn't come down as hard as it's anticipated because we need to get back out of here with our front wheel drive. That's cool. Widespread amounts of one to three inches through parts of northern New England we could see as much as eight inches. Uh, we're at the Latin light, we're eating healthy and we're cutting carbs and uh, we're trying some new different roots and plants and things. This is the plantain? Yeah. So that's, that's what we ordered right yeah, there. Chris. Yeah. We made the right call. I love what they did with it. You can tell like how crispy it is. They shred it, throw it on the grill with a little bit of oil, and it just crisps the outside of it up. It's almost like a ha how a hash brown is prepared, but with Correct. shredded chicken. Yeah. And it's so damn good. It's a very unique meal. 
Uh, shout out to the, the Latin Light yeah. here in, in Miami. And uh, this is going to fuel us for the rest of the day. For some more perks, zip. Zip. Zip, buddy. Enjoy. Oh, here we go. Got him. Fish on. Yes, finally. We have ourselves a fish. The northern boys are on the board. First fish and first species for us. This is a yellow perch. Um, I was thinking this would be an amazing fish to keep for our first one, but he's got a bit of disease on his dorsal. So we're actually going to send this guy back, but that counts. Is a nice point for us. We're gonna put him on the measuring board. He's not very big, probably about a freaking eight incher, but we have got a whopping, we'll call that nine and a half inches for our first species. Bye bye. Let's go. Oh, that feels good. I didn't think we we're gonna catch anything today. It's been really slow and it took freaking forever to get out here. And the other thing too is we gotta figure out how we're gonna get back because as this snow continues, it's good for the fishing. Uh, however, it's not gonna be good for getting uphill and out of where we launched today. $60, help went in there, fantastic. Those ladies were some of the nicest people I've ever encountered in a restaurant. Yeah, seriously, seriously, yeah. We were talking about it earlier, when you walk in with a camera, most of the time people get a little freaked out. They just immediately sprang into action. They gave us samples of almost everything that they had. Like we tried everything. So, big high recommendation for Latin Light in the Miami area if you ever make your way out here. But I think the boys were trying to contact us, so we need to get them on the horn and see, uh, and get an I, update from I, them. Yeah, I don't I have a great feeling. Oh, they're in there! I got them! Look at them! Oh look at my this. gosh! Look at you! You're an Eskimo, brother! Oh my <laughs> gosh! It's been pretty fun. I cannot believe the contrast. I mean, it just looks <laughs> look white. You look like you're in a uh, like photoshopped white background. Yeah. Forecast up in Maine calls for a <laughs> ton of snow. Uh, we we parked downhill with a trailer and a van that has front wheel drive. And we may be, we may be sleeping in the parking lot. It's actually, that's not a lie, it's pretty no, bad. No, it's really bad. We it's actually, it's, it took us 30 minutes to get out of my driveway this morning. We have one perch so far. How are you guys doing? Oh, well, wow. we, we uh, similar situation. We have one fish, we got a bass. Believe it or not. Yeah, you guys, listen, you guys are sitting pretty good. You guys are in Florida. How are How you not hell, catching dude? fish? Oh, now I'm fine. We don't understand were, it either. I knew they were going to say that because it's so freaking hot. Do you see the sweat on our face right now? It's like really hot, incredibly hot. All right, well, you guys go and enjoy yourself. All right, buddy, y'all stay warm. Enjoy yourself. I almost felt bad for them, but then I remembered that this challenge is not over yet. Just because we have better weather does not mean that we automatically win. So we need to get back on the road. We need to get back on task here, my friends. We've had, we've had some good food. We need to move on, take this challenge to the next level.